A research team from the University of Hong Kong has developed an oral medication aimed at treating a rare form of leukemia. Researchers say patient survival rates could exceed 97 percent with the help of the medicine. They added their medical product has already been approved by U.S. and European regulatory bodies. Timothy Lee tells us more. Many people suffering from leukemia often have to resort to expensive chemotherapy treatments at the city's private hospitals. Besides being a dent in the wallet, the treatments often result in long-term side effects. One such case involved Ms. Wong, who spent $2.6 million on chemotherapy in just two months after contracting acute primalolocytic leukemia two years ago. After being transferred to Queen Mary Hospital, Wong fully recovered from the disease after she began taking the oral leukemia treatment developed by HKU Med. The former leukemia patient said the oral medicine has a salty taste similar to seawater or soy sauce. She noted its effectiveness could be seen in the fact that no one would believe she suffered from blood cancer more than a year ago unless she told them. APL, a type of blood cancer with a high fatality rate, is traditionally treated with chemotherapy and has a high recurrence rate. In a bid to combat the aggressive disease, a research team from HKU Med began developing an oral formulation of arsenic trioxide to fight the cancer since 2010. Its negative side effects on the heart is also significantly lower. As of now, around 430 public hospital patients have been treated via the oral method. With the medicine offering an overall survival rate of over 97 percent, the HKU research team emphasizes effectiveness over traditional chemotherapy. Uh, with this latest uh, treatment uh, regimen with oral arsenic trioxide based uh, therapy, when we compare it with uh, the traditional atra chemotherapy, with traditional atra chemotherapy, in the real world setting, we are just roughly getting around 80 percent or less of cure in the long term. Because, first of all, patients may die early on because of the complications or the problems with chemotherapy and the disease. The HKU Med research team stressed the oral arsenic trioxide for leukemia is the first prescription medicine in Hong Kong to be globalized. This, as a pharmaceutical company working with the university, said the medicine could be produced on a larger scale by 2028. Timothy Lee, TV News.